Hey everyone, Tanner Bell here. Welcome back to MakersGonnaLearn.com. In today's video, we are knees deep into our fall week here at the Makers Gonna Learn YouTube channel. And in today's project, we are making one of my absolute favorite projects that I've probably made for fall and years past and different versions are always so much fun. So today's project, we are making an amazing, amazing sign that you're going to be able to actually create a leather pouch for and then add your fall foliage inside it and style it however you would prefer. So we cannot wait to jump into today's project with you. Again, we are featuring um, our Frame Masterclass in this uh, program as well as our year membership to Makers Gonna Learn. The best part is our fall sale is going on right now. So you can save $30 using the coupon code Fall 30 on the Frank Masterclass, your year membership. There's so many opportunities to get plugged in at Makers Gonna Learn if you are not already. Now for our members that are already signed up, be sure to be posting your favorite fall projects from this week. We are really excited to see what you've got going on for your fall spaces. At the end of the week, again, we're doing the big reveal of our tablescape, our mantle and entry table as well. So lots of great ideas coming your way this week. Be sure to watch the previous episodes from earlier this week and we cannot wait. So let's go ahead and jump into what you're gonna need for today's project. A big theme you may be seeing in this week's project is this amazing 143 vinyl faux leather. We've been loving working with it, so we're using it today to create our leather pouch. And the main reason why we're working with it, the colors are great for this season. We absolutely love how it cuts and it's super easy to work with. So we're going to link this down below along with all the other supplies, but I love highlighting this. We're working with our Minwax stain. You can use Jacko Bean. That is the one we're working with today. I mentioned our Frame Masterclass. It will teach you how to make all the frames you want. So this teaches you everything you need to know in our Frame Masterclass. Such a good program. You get a 26 page ebook that breaks all the steps down. This is something you can do with your significant other, have a lot of fun, and then bring it in to the craft room um, and be able to create all the frames you want. You're not gonna have to purchase frames at the Hobby Lobby or craft store any longer because you're going to be able to build them yourself. So we love that um, and we're just following one of those tutorials today for a 16 by 20 frame. You're going to need a green Cricut mat just like we have used previously with the faux leather. We are using a hot glue gun. We do not have the Lynn Lily hot glue gun today as you guys know. It is my favorite, but we're using this one and I love the little built-in kickstand. So this one's working pretty good as well. It doesn't have that fine point tip, but we'll be fine. Um, we're also using our amazing Right OB Airstrike Technology Air Nailer. Such a great one. Um, it's a little bit under or right at a hundred dollars for this piece of like machinery and it's so good. I absolutely love this tool um, and not pictured, we will be using a stapler. So you'll just need any type of stapler. I have an aero fastener stapler that I love. Um, and then the last two supplies would be fabric. I got this pattern right here. I love it. Um, this is at Joann's and it's just gonna look good in your home as well as my home. So I love that. And then last but not least, we're doing um, using the Krylon Easy Tack as our spray adhesive because instead of painting our frame today, we're actually doing our technique where we apply the fabric onto the frame. So let's go ahead and jump into today's project and we'll be able to create it real quick. Okay, first things first is we actually need to stain our frame. The reason I like to do this first is it gives it plenty of time to draw while we work on the back of our frame and then we're also able to work on our Cricut elements. So for what we're going to do is we just have these pieces of cloth. We're able to cut these up and just have these ready to go whenever we're staining. So all you want to do I like to fold mine a few times. The reason, you know, I highly suggest staining pads if you're doing a very large surface. When you're doing a frame like this, we don't want to waste a whole staining pad just to do one quick frame. So old t-shirts, old washcloths, anything like that, even paper towel will actually get you a really good result and save you quite a bit of money. So we're going to take our um, pad right here that's a cut up piece of t-shirt or anything like that just cotton fabric pretty much. So we're just working it right into the wood and it goes on really well. So as you can see, we're just gonna take it and then just kind of keep continuing to work it into the wood. 
And we love Jacko Bean. We haven't been using it a ton recently, but in fall, I mean, this is just such a great, great, nice dark wood color to be able to stain with. All right, so after you've stained it, all you wanna do is sit it to the side to dry for roughly two hours or so, give or take. Now that that's drying, what we're going to do is take our half inch sanded piece of plywood that we have for our backing and give it a nice medium coat of the Krylon Easy Tack. You wanna make sure to do this in a well ventilated area. I recommend going outside, spraying it, then coming back in. So after we've been able to give this a nice medium coat of the spray Easy Tack, we're just gonna simply lay our fabric down onto the piece of wood and we're going to smooth it out just like so. Now with this being a plaid pattern, you wanna make sure not to stretch the fabric too much because the pattern will end up being a little zigzag or not as flush. So you want to then, if you have any of that, you wanna kind of pull it up. The Easy Tack does allow you to work with it, I would say two or three times to make sure you can kind of lay it as flat as possible. Once you've laid your fabric onto the wood, you're gonna to wanna to flip it over just like we have right here. And you're going to want to trim off the excess. Um, I like to leave maybe just a little bit extra. Remember, it's not going to be seen due to the fact that you're going to have the large frame around it. Now that you've been able to cut the excess off of your piece of plywood, you're gonna have something that looks about like this. As you guys can see, the edges don't look perfect. One of the reasons why I didn't fold it over is because once you tighten it, it could mess up your plaid design. So if there's ever anything after you lay your frame down, which I don't expect there to be too much, you can go on the back and kind of fix that. So with this being a plaid pattern, you do want to be careful about lining up everything to make sure it's still pretty go with the pattern. Um, and then once you're happy with that, flip it around to the back. And earlier in the supplies, I had my air neller and obviously we did not build the frame during today's video. That's for the frame masterclass where we feature the air neller. But what we are using is the arrow fastener staple gun. So you just want to have one of these, make sure that it's thick enough um, nails or staples to go through your half inch plywood into the main frame. So I do about an inch to three fourths of an inch. Once you're good, you're going to want to take it and staple. These are really easy to do. I love teaching people these, um, how to build these because they're so easy. They're so fun. And this staple gun is probably my favorite. I've talked about it for years. Um, and it's just so easy to use because it doesn't require too much um, strength to be able to staple. So some other ones, I've honestly used other ones that require so much more. So now that you've stapled, you're going to be able to um, pick it up and you'll see that your frame is good to go. And now we can head over to Cricut Design Space and share with you guys exactly how to cut out the leather pouch. All right, guys, so what you're gonna need for Cricut Design Space today is our leather pouch cut file. This can be found at makersgonnalearn.com. You do need to be a member to grab this cut file. So again, if you want to take full advantage of our year savings, you can go ahead and save $30 being a best value member compared to a monthly member for an entire year. We're so excited. The fall 30 coupon code is here for that, for everyone that has been waiting and super excited to get that year membership. Now, what you need to do once you get this into Cricut Design Space, is you wanna make sure that it's going to fit for your project and your frame. This will be able to cut on two 12 by 12 mats, which is really nice. Um, so you're gonna to want to size this all together um, because it should import as one cut file as 18.7 by 7.9. If you want to do it and you're following the measurements of our frame, which is 16 by 20. So if you're following something around that size, obviously you can just look at one of them and kind of know the sizing and whatnot. But after you've sized it for the frame you are working on, it's really simple. We're going to cut this today on the paper thin setting. Um, we are using the fine point blade, so it's going to be really easy. And all we need to do is just cut out these two mats. So once you press make it, you're going to see we're just going to cut these out, like I said, on two different mats. And again, on that paper thin setting. 
Once you cut out both faux leather pieces, you're gonna lay the back down, and then you're going to take the front right here, you're gonna line it up, and then what you're going to do is you're going to hot glue this just like so here, and then we're gonna fold it around back and do the sides. So you just wanna apply some hot glue with these areas. And then you wanna fold it up. Go flip it around back and we're going to go ahead and hot glue the two sides just like so. All right guys, for the final step, we're going to take our leather pouch and we're gonna hot glue it right here onto the awesome, awesome frame. So you're just gonna add quite a bit of hot glue. This is going to hold all the flowers and we cannot wait to reveal all the styling on Friday so you're able to see exactly how the entire house comes together. So after you've added the hot glue, you wanna hot glue it to the bottom here so you have plenty of room to apply all of the flowers. And now you have this adorable leather pouch that you're gonna be able to add any of the fall foliage right here and be able to style it. Courtney has so many tips and tricks to share with you guys, so stay tuned in this week's series so that you're able to see exactly how to style, how to add that, some tips and tricks later on in the week. If you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to give us a thumbs up. Subscribe to the Makers Gonna Learn YouTube channel as always to see all of your amazing Cricut videos. If you guys are not a member, let me consider this your personal invitation to join us at makersgonnalearn.com. The fall coupon code again is down below. You can use that coupon code to get your frame masterclass, which will be linked down below as well but we really want to help you guys master your machine. Makers Gonna Learn is the number one platform that shares the education, the inspiration, and the motivation to get you guys to master your machine. Chances are, if you stuck with me to the end of the video and you're not already a member, what are you waiting for? You will definitely love your membership. Be sure to recreate this project and share it with us on social in the member only Facebook group. Take advantage of all the member benefits. If you guys are joining today, we cannot wait to see you over there. And as always guys, have a fantastic day and thanks so much for watching. Bye now.